More than $5 million. That's how much the CTA will pay the family of a woman killed by a bus. She boarded it on New Year's Eve in 2007 after putting her bike in the rack. A few stops later on the northwest side, the bus ran over her as she tried to take the bike off. We warn you, the entire incident was caught on tape. Here's CBS 2's Jim Williams with why the family agreed to settle the case. Dadvika Shunalik's sons and daughter-in-law insist they were not motivated by money. They simply wanted the CTA to admit that it was the bus driver's negligence that killed the 59-year-old Polish immigrant and avid bicyclist. They wanted to hear from the CTA, yes, it's our fault that we actually, uh, it, it's our fault that you lost uh, your mom. The family's attorney, Tim Cavanaugh, says they were especially outraged by comments made by viewers of news reports right after Shinalik was killed, before Kavanaugh went to court to get the CTA's own surveillance tape. Some of those comments before the video were released, well, this woman ran into traffic. This, it's this woman's fault. The CTA from day one did nothing to uh, take away the public's feelings and it set the facts straight. It hurted. It hurted a lot. And uh, it was really sad to hear that and to read about it. But in a statement today, the CTA admits fault. The 2007 incident was a tragic accident in which a bus operator did not demonstrate the attention to safety we demand of all of our operators. It takes your breath away. You can almost understand that she was like, you got to be kidding me. You're, you're going to run me over. The bus driver was fired after the tragedy, and the CTA imposed safeguards to protect bicyclists. They retrained drivers and put large signs and buses urging passengers to tell the drivers if they are retrieving a bike from the front rack. Live in the newsroom, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Bill, Walter. Thank you, Jim.